My name is Eric Swetchenow. I'm an otolaryngology head and neck surgeon, but most people call us ear, nose, and throat doctors. Ear, nose, and throat doctors perform many different services for patients. We take care of, of patients ranging from infants who are one or two days old to geriatric patients who are 100 years old. We do medical things and surgical things. For instance, a tonsillectomy is done by an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Also, head and neck surgeons are ear, nose, and throat doctors, so major cancers of the head and neck or throat are taken care of by us. One of the particular things that I do is I take care of a large amount of pediatric patients, and I take care of children who have tongue tie. So patients who are having difficulty breastfeeding, their mothers who are having pain to breastfeeding when their child is born, they're noted to have a restriction of the motion of their tongue. They're sent to me sometimes when they're two or three days old, and we release that tongue tie and allow them to continue to breastfeed. The thing that's really neat about it for me is that you can take a mother who a, has no idea what's going wrong. She just knows this isn't working right. And B, has had somebody tell her, hey, I think that this can get fixed. And then by the time they get to me and I fix it, they're just so ecstatic, like, oh my gosh, I can feed my child and it's not hurting anymore. One of the things that I do all the time is thyroid and parathyroid surgery. These are very specific surgeries that need very specialized physicians in order to perform them safely. For instance, the nerve that controls the voice box runs immediately adjacent to the thyroid and parathyroid glands. So that nerve is at risk anytime surgery is done in that area. Regarding the ability to perform minimally invasive surgery in order to speed a patient's return to normal function, this is one of the things that's great about thyroid and parathyroid surgery. We can make these incisions as small as two centimeters or just less than an inch. There is minimal dissection around the area of concern and then patients can really be back to themselves within one or two days. One of the things that's been really great about working for TriHealth is our ability to take care of patients in an expeditious manner. As soon as someone gets referred to us, that shows up immediately to my medical assistant and nurse, and we can usually work them in within one or two days. One of the really great things about being in the Kenwood location for TriHealth is that we have a multi-specialty building. There's pediatricians right upstairs. There's a dermatologist two hallways over. We manage to work great together as a team. When a patient is seen and needs to be seen by another specialty right away, often that doctor will just walk the patient over to our office and we'll be able to work them in the same day. I first became a doctor because my father was a doctor. He's a neurosurgeon. And I saw how wonderful it was, the things that he did to save people's lives and to take care of them, to fix brain tumors and to fix chronic back pain were amazing. I also saw that a neurosurgeon was very rarely uh, at home. So I learned that that job, as wonderful as it was, was not the right fit for me. Ear, nose, and throat has been a great fit. We take care of medical problems and surgical problems. There's nothing better than being able to help somebody every day of your life in your job.